Hi again! This vlog would show you the dorsal muscles of the frog. Okay, so let's start off with okay, this um, very, very small muscle just inferior to the eye. So this is the pterygoideus. Okay. And then below the pterygoideus, you have here this muscle. You have here the temporalis. So temporalis. And then you have here a rhomboid-shaped muscle. Okay, so this is the rhomboideus. Okay, so again you have temporalis, this one. And then this one is the, sorry, this is pterygoideus. And then this is temporalis. Okay, and then you have here the rhomboideus muscle. Okay, and then um, just below the, below and lateral to the rhomboideus muscle and the temporalis also, you have here the depressor mandibula. So this one. Okay, depressor mandibula. And um, what you do is you can lift the depressor mandibula. You can lift that. As you can see there, the partition, and you can cut. Okay. So, as you can see, if you're going to lift the muscle, you're going to see the natural partition. You're just going to cut. Okay, cut the fascia without cutting the muscle. Okay. Okay, so this is the Okay, depressor mandibula. Okay, so from its name, it uh, lowers the jaw and opens the mouth. No? And then, okay, beneath the depressor mandibula, you have here ito, the dorsalis scapula. Okay, if you can recall your, uh, the study of the skeletal system, okay, this large area here is actually a cartilage, no? So that's the suprascapula. So ito yung dorsalis scapula. Okay, and then, uh, right after the dorsalis scapula, okay, you have here this muscle arising from the side. So, you have here the latissimus dorsi. Okay, latissimus dorsi. So, let's try to separate it. So, you can... It's uh, there, no? You can... Again, lift the muscle and then try to see the natural partition. Then you can cut. Okay, and then again lift. Okay, and then again cut. Okay, there. So for, okay, um, it's really very evident, but if you really want to see it, okay, it's better for you to deflect it, no? So you can cut the middle area. Again, raise, okay, and then cut. So again, I am trying to separate the latissimus dorsi. Okay, in separating, you can also use the blunt end of your scalpel. Okay. Okay, then after uh, separating, okay, you can just, okay, so here it is, you can just, okay, pull it. 
Okay, pull it gently. So, I'm not, so as not to open the lateral side of the abdomen. There. Okay? So, this is the Latissimus dorsi. Okay? So, it originates from... Uh, it's inserted, no? Into the... Uh, arm region, upper arm region. Okay, uh, it's found on the side and uh, back, kaya latissimus dorsi siya, no? So, again, okay, so you have here the depressor mandibula. Okay, and then you can see the entire dorsalis scapula. And then you have here the latissimus dorsi. Okay? And then, Okay, um, deflecting the latissimus dorsi, you're going to see the remainder of the muscle here. Very, very long muscle. So, from this part, okay, until this part, until this part. Okay, so ito, na? So, this one, okay, until here. Yan, ito, this is the other side. So, the uh, long muscle is the longissimus dorsi. Okay? So, latissimus dorsi, and then you have the longissimus dorsi. Okay. And then, okay, try to see the, here, no? This is the, it's actually part of the sacral vertebra. Okay, or in the external anatomy, this is the one we can palpate as the hump. Okay, so, just above the hump, Okay, beside the longissimus dorsi, you have the iliolumbaris, this one. So, actually, the separation is here. Okay, this one, no? So, this is longissimus dorsi, and then this is iliolumbaris. So, the other side, longissimus dorsi, ito, this is iliolumbaris. Okay? And then, uh, just below the, the hump or the bone here, Okay, hump in external anatomy again, no? So, part of the sacral vertebra. You have a very small muscle, this one. Okay? This one. Okay, so ito, no? So, this is the coccygeo sacralis. And then, the larger one, this one. So, these are the coccygeo iliacus. Okay? And then... Uh, on the on either side of the uh, vertebra or this bone, uh, this is the ilium bone. No? So on either side of the ilium bone, you have here the gluteus muscle. Here, okay, gluteus. So again, you have here coccygeo sacralis, coccygeo sacralis, and then coccygeo iliacus. Okay, and then you have the gluteus muscle. Okay, and then, okay, so you have here the, okay, the two ribbon-like muscles. You have the pyriformis. So you can clearly see that or better see that by removing the fascia. But anyway, no, it's, uh, it can be clearly seen. So, again, you have here the pyriformis. Okay, and then this one, this is the sphincter eye. Okay, that's the sphincter eye. And then, okay, uh, looking at the side, okay, you have here the external oblique. Okay, external oblique. And then, you can actually see another muscle here, a very, very thin muscle. This is actually the internal oblique. Okay, and if you want to really see that, Okay, you can uh, dissect. Again, you can lift the muscle. Okay, you can separate that. Okay, just to show okay, that they are overlapping. Okay. Okay. So you can see here the external oblique. Um, and if you're going to focus on the direction of fibers, 
the fibers are going up like this na and then okay as for the internal oblique here the fibers are actually uh, running this way okay so external oblique and then we have the internal oblique and then uh you have muscles of the arm okay so ito okay so you have here the triceps brachii Okay, and then this one, you have here the extensors. Okay? Okay, now we go to the muscles of the hind limb. Okay, the muscles of the hind limb. So I'll just be removing the pin. Okay. Okay, so you have here the a very big muscle. This is the triceps femori. So when you say triceps, so this muscle has three heads or three origins. Okay, in order for us to see that, so again, we have to uh, remove the fascia, okay, clean the area. Again, when cutting, cut away from the muscle. Okay, so you can cut the fascia. Okay, then yan, you can see here already. Okay, you can see two heads. Okay, so you have here uh, the first head. You have here the second head. Okay, and then if we're going to deflect the second head, so this is rectus femoris, the second head. So, if you're going to deflect that, so again, lift the muscle and then cut. Okay, you can clearly see the partition. Okay, so there. And then just lift. Okay, and then just cut. Then you can already see the third head. Okay. So, you have here three heads. Okay, so you have the first head, this is the vastus externus or the vastus lateralis. Okay, and then this is the rectus femoris. Okay, and then the third one, this one, this is the vastus internus or the vastus medialis. Okay, so that's why again, the muscle is called the triceps femoris no? because it has three heads. Okay, and then... Okay, here, okay, you can again cut the fascia, okay, you can use the blunt end of your uh, forceps in separating the muscle so that you would not uh, damage the muscle, okay, so you have there, you have the biceps femoris, no? so triceps femoris, and then you have the biceps femoris, and then, okay, this big muscle here, this is the semimembranosus. Okay, semimembranosus. And then you have a thin muscle there. Okay, so... Okay, you can actually separate that. Okay, so that's the gracilis minor. Okay? And then, you have the muscles of the shank. Okay, we can see here three muscles on the dorsal aspect. Okay, so this one, okay, this is the, okay, gastronemius, so silent C. It's spelled as gastrocnemius, but you should pronounce that as gastronemius. Okay, so that's the calf muscle. And then this one, okay, this is the peroneus, okay, peroneus. And for you to see the um, muscle, okay, that's the tibialis anticus. Okay, remember this tendon here, this one. Okay, so you can actually separate this. Okay. Okay, and then you can insert the blunt end of your scalpel. Okay, and then just separate.
there. Okay? So, no need to cut any muscle, no? So, again, you have the three. Okay, you have here the gastrocnemius. And then you have the peroneus. Okay, and then this one, this is actually an A-shaped muscle. Eh? Okay, you can further appreciate that. Okay, if you're going to remove the fascia there. Okay, so this muscle here, this one, okay, there. So this is the tibialis anticus, so called because it's located in front of or anterior to the tibiofibula. So this is the tibiofibula. Okay, so again, just to recap. Okay, to recap. So, you have here again, pterygoidius, and then you have temporalis, okay, this is rhomboidius, and then you have depressor mandibula, and then you have here, okay, dorsalis scapula, and then you have latissimus dorsi, and then you have longissimus dorsi, all the way here and then you have ilio lumbaris and then you have coccygeo sacralis coccygeo iliacus and then you have gluteus you have pyriformis as you have um, sphincter ani and then you have here the external oblique then you have the internal oblique Okay, then you have here the triceps brachii, you have extensors. Okay, and then you have, again, for the muscles of the thigh, you have triceps. Okay, triceps femoris, again showing the head, so you have one. This is vastus externus or vastus lateralis. This is rectus femoris. Okay, and the... Okay, here you have here the vastus medialis or the vastus internus. Okay, and then here you have here biceps femoris. And then you have semimembranosus, okay, gracilis minor. Okay, and then you have gastronemius. Okay, you have peroneus. And then you have tibialis anticus. Okay, so that's it for the dorsal muscles of the frog. So see you again for the ventral muscles of the frog. Thank you.